Good morning children today we shall learn about time and clock In the last video we saw what is day and night and what is time We saw how the clock was showing 6 o'clock 7 o'clock etc Now we will try to go little deeper and try to understand time in terms of hours and minutes As we saw in the last video a clock has two hands and the face of the clock is called dial which is in a shape of a circle let us see the two hands of the clock again unlike we human beings the clock's two hands are of different size one is long and one is short the shorter one is called the hour hand or the short hand while the longer one is called the minute hand or the long hand let's see how the hands in the clock moves pay attention to the small hand which represent hour and the long hand that represent minute this is 9 o'clock the hour hand is at 9 and the minute hand is at 12 now i move the hands of the clock Can you see how the minute hand takes one full circle and the hour hand moves by one number that is now the hour hand move from 9 to 10 so this is 10 o'clock now i move the minute hand again after full circle this is 11 o'clock the hour hand is at 11 now i move the minute hand again after full circle this is 12 o'clock because the hour hand is at 12 so we know when minute hand is at 12 then we can look at the hour hand and tell what time it is but if the minute hand is not at 12 like in this diagram what time is it hmm let's find out look the shorter hand or the hour hand is between 2 and 3 and we know how the hands of the clock moves in the forward direction in the right direction from smaller number to greater number so when shorter hand is between 2 and 3 we know it's something past 2 that is it's sometime after 2 o'clock and what time it is let's look at the longer hand longer hand has gone half way from the clock dial circle correct so we can say it is half past 2 let's look again this is 2 o'clock the hour hand is at 2 and the minute hand is at 12 now i move the minute hand by half a circle in forward direction and this is half past 2 same way this is half past 4 look the hour hand is between 4 and 5 and the longer hand which is a minute hand is half circle past 12 that is at 6 so it is half past 4 let's look again This is four o'clock. The hour hand is at four, and the minute hand is at twelve. Now I move the minute hand by half a circle in forward direction. See, this is half past four. There is another way of saying this too. You know, one hour has sixty minutes, and when we say the time in the clock is half past four, so what is half hour? Half hour means half of sixty minutes. That is sixty divided by two, which is thirty minutes. So the time is actually thirty minutes past four, which means half past four or thirty minutes past four are the same. And how do we write it using digits? Let's take some examples. you may have seen clock with no hands it only shows numbers that is a digital clock 
in digital clock the number before colon sign tells the hour and the number after colon sign tells us the minutes so look this is 30 minutes past 4 how do we write it it is as shown in the digital clock 4 colon 30 which means 30 past 4 or 4 hours and 30 minutes understood so what time it is now it's 9 o'clock and in the digital clock it's written as 9 colon 0 0 9 hours 0 minutes and what is the time now 30 minutes past 9 or 9 hours 30 minutes so now we know one complete movement of minute hand in a circle takes 60 minutes or 1 hour so if the time was 9 o'clock before after one complete circle of minute hour the time will be 1 hour more that is 10 o'clock and one complete movement of hour hand in a circle takes how much time it is simple just count the numbers which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 hours so if the time was 9 o'clock in the morning before and now if I move the hour hand by a complete circle watch it closely it is noon time now it is evening time sun is about to set and now after the one complete circle of our hand the time is nine o'clock in night so yes if it was nine o'clock in morning after one complete circle of our hand it will be nine o'clock in night and if the time was nine o'clock in night before now I move the hour hand watch it closely it is midnight time now it is early morning time the Sun is about to rise and now after one complete circle of our hand the time is nine o'clock in morning so that's all for today children enjoy Bye-bye.